हाई एवरी वन जय माता दी वेल योर वरीज एंड हेयर फाइनली द वेट इज ओवर गाइज अचीवर्स पैकेज लेकर आ रहे हैं मर्च ने भी डिकोडेड एंड दिस इज अ प्री लॉन्च थिंग सो आई थॉट वाई नॉट टेल यू गाइज वॉट ऑल विल बी अवेलेबल ऑन द अचीवर्स पैकेज बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दैट लेट मी टेल यू वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड दैट इज आई बिलीव दिस पैकेज इज नॉट जस्ट गोइंग टू हेल्प यू नो मरीन इंजीनियरिंग वेल it will help you perform way 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 better in advance on board ship help you clear your class 4 help you help you clear your class 2 exams and most importantly the most important that is earn respect on ship so without wasting any time let's start with what all you are going going to get here in auxiliary engines first so guys i'll go to auxiliary engine so let me start with actually the thing is while making this video we had carried out generator decarb so a lot of videos in this auxiliary engine are from the part of decarb being carried out so when the decarb was carried out a lot of testing is carried out to make ensure that the all the things are in proper the bearings are proper they are not heated up so this video is regarding that so i'm just giving a brief description as you can see over here and then after giving this brief description i take you see now what we have done is over here we have run the generator for a few minutes and now we have opened up the crankcase door and we are going to measure the temperature of all the bearings out there so that is what we are doing can you see see right now with the infrared gun i am measuring the connecting rod bearing temperatures and uh, this thing needs to be carried out quite frequently there is a procedure given in manual that we need to follow so we will me measure the temperatures everything check the connecting rod bolt tightness with the mirror as you can see over here that the bolts have not become loose and then again restart the generator again and then again open up all the crankcase doors and check again so guys this is one of the most important stuffs and i will be explaining each and everything that why is there next next over here is important generators alarms and trips so out here when i talk about generators alarms and trips first thing is that i am going to explain you the theoretical part and then i will take you to the practical journey let's see over here first out here i am explaining the theory part of the alarms and trips of fuel oil leak off alarm that is generator high pressure pipe leak over speed trip lube oil low pressure trip by using a pressure calibrator and generator jacket water high temperature trip using a temperature calibrator so over here a pressure calibrator a temperature calibrator will come and use you will activate the generator over speed trip with a over speed over speed trip relay as well as a fuel oil leak off alarm will be tried out these are four very important alarms so once i have explained the theory i am going to take you so let's go so over here this is the lube oil low pressure trip i have got a pressure calibrator in hand as you can see over here and <laughs> i am showing you how i am going to carry out a lube oil low pressure trip so once this lube oil low pressure trip is tried out see the lube oil low pressure safety shutdown you can see over here has come the generator has stopped now i am going to try out this is the over speed trip so generator over speed relay is being activated from over here you can see it is written speed relay once it is energized see over here and the generator is going to trip once this is activated see and you will observe just a few seconds remaining let us see we'll keep it pressed okay so over here this is the uh, over speed trip relay has been activated and you can see over here that the safety shutdown over speed trip has been activated can you see over here so this is done now we are going to try out fuel oil leak off alarm so this is the fuel oil leak off alarm system being tried out with the float system fitted over here so we will see that this is the float for the fuel oil leak off high alarm cop it and after this this is the generator jacket water high temperature trip being tried out using the um, temperature calibrator over here so these are the alarms and trips being tried out the best part so you will get a whole lot of good idea ki what this important parts are next generator change over walls over here i have tried to explain the theory part as well as a practical thing ki why a generator is change over to diesel oil how a change over generator generator change over to fuel oil how the walls need to be changed over which is a very very important part 
many fourth year third years have even second years have made big 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 mistakes while changing over these walls very critical operation so you need to understand this well so over here first of all i have explained the theory can you see first of all i am explaining the theory part properly so that you understand and then i am taking you through a practical engine room round over here see i am showing you the walls how to operate which walls you operate see the markings are there on the wall these tags are given so that people do not make mistakes over here got it guys now after this another important video is about generator connecting rod let's see so first of all i am explaining the theory part over here of the generator connecting rod connecting rod bolts ovality how do we check the ovality why do we check the ovality all these things as per the manual instructions and then i take you to measure the crank pin ovality as well see i am using a outside micrometer over here and i am measuring the crank pin ovality over here so that is what i'm going to discuss and we are noting down the readings after this let me explain the generator connecting rod to you properly so i've got a connecting rod put i've got connecting rod bearings over here i've got connecting rod bolts over here can you see so now i'm explaining the generator connecting rod how it works how does a, how do we put a bearing see there is a proper way to put a bearing over here there is a proper way to assemble the connecting rod so and this is how i am putting the bearing inside bearing and now i am putting the connecting rod bolts over here which are properly marked this connecting rod bolts have got a very very important phenomena or very very important part to take care of so manual pad ke you need to work on these things very very important i'll be discussing all that i have learned over the years on this and can you see i'm checking the ovality over here with the with the inside micrometer can you see yes now this is how we check the ovality now guys uh, most important part as a second engineer you need to know this if if you know this as a fourth or third year you are an asset and if god forbid you know this as a junior engineer hats off jai mata di coming to the next video is again i am taking you to the generator crank generator crank case area and i am showing the connecting rod bolts properly fitted and we are checking at the marks ki bhaiya how do we what all we check during the generator crank case inspection and how do we check the marks whether the connecting rod bolts have not become loose or are they properly taut condition or not with the help of a mirror can you see this is the marking that i am checking can you see this marking can you see this marking matching over here yes let's come to the other part generator crank case inspection and deflection so first we are going to carry out a generator crank case inspection and generator crank case deflection as a third engineer in some ships this is a very very important part in some companies fourth engineers are handling handling the generators so if you know what all to check in a crank case inspection what all to do how to do a crank case def, uh, how to check crank case deflection you are an asset see you will not be asking people you will be a proactive guy who knows what to do and how to do that's the most important part so first of all i am checking the sump this is the crank case inspection we carried out then after that i am checking the markings of connecting rod bolts so all that needs to be checked during a crank case inspection this is the floating whether the connecting rod is free or not see it is floating or not i am checking this see it is moving freely this is one of the most important thing and you see this is moving freely this is one of the most important things that you need to check i remember when i was a third engineer i did not know this my second engineer told me and he looked with his eyes ye bhi nahi aata tumko you don't know this which was bad so these are some practical things you need to know and after that let us carry out generator deflection so out here first of all i am explaining the theory part and then let us carry out the generator deflection see this is the crank web and we are putting the dial gauge over here and then we are taking the readings can you see these are the readings this is the dial gauge see this is the dial gauge so over here we get the deflection 1 degree 2 degree 3 degree and then we calculate cop it let's go to generator cylinder head so now we were carrying our generator d car we, that was a good opportunity we carried out generator cylinder head so first of all i took a normal cylinder head and a carried out description ki what all each part is see i am showing you what an exhaust valve looks like what an inlet valve looks like what an exhaust seat looks like what an inlet seat looks like 
what are the springs what are roto caps what are quarter pins how a cylinder head is lifted oh god there are a lot of things to be shown so this is a roto cap over here i am explaining each and everything out here in detail i am showing you the stem seals so this is how a roto cap is rotating i am just showing that as well then i am carrying out generator cylinder head pressure testing out here i am showing that as well copied then after this i am carrying out generator cylinder head lifting out here so this is i am lifting out a cylinder head from a generator what all devices i am using a uh, practically most of the generators will have the same phenomena you just have to if you have understood this concept well when you go on board ship it will become much easier you have to do you just have to go through the manual and things will be very easy in front of you copied so this is how each and everything that i'm doing practically i'm explaining that as well which is the most important thing which normally you do not get in a manual so now i'm removing all the important gaskets o-rings and explaining that as well let's go to generator cylinder overhauling so now the cylinder head was removed it is kept over here now this cylinder head will be dismantled can you see this so i am removing the quarter pins this is the stem seal that i'm showing you over here okay now this, this see these are the exhaust walls that i am removing or the inlet walls see they are in burnt condition this is how a cylinder head looks like you need to make it clean lap it make it look good now over here i am carrying out cylinder head valve lacking lapping this the oiler is carrying out on board ship so he'll be sharing his experience with us how a lapping is carried out why lapping is important so this was a dirty cylinder head now it is looking so clean how did we manage to do that all this is mentioned in the videos over here copy it these are two kinds of lapping paste one is very fine and other is coarse one so then cylinder head overhauling now we are boxing up the cylinder so earlier we were overhauling now we are boxing up so i am showing the seat i am showing you the stem seal uh, how am i putting it back i am showing you the these are the exhaust walls how am i putting them back these are the springs the roto caps everything copy it so i'm overhauling so before putting the cylinder head back in you this is the flame ring that i've got in my hand what all checks need to be carried out how they need to be covered everything is discussed in this video so i put the flame ring okay this is the piston inside you can see over here ah so before putting the cylinder head i'm putting all the gaskets o rings back into place new ones of course the new clean ones this is the copa slip which has been put into place over here can you see this yes now i am going to lower the cylinder head into place now this is very very important see now this cylinder head going, is going to go in so there is a special way to put in slowly i am guiding it inside you see when the gap is slow now i am discussing it see very carefully you have to do this very carefully and now it will happen with a jerk and just have a look i am still discussing what needs to be done and once i see that it has gone properly now it will go with a jerk just have a look immediately tuck a tuck and it has set it properly you can see over here so these are all the things which you will not get in manuals but are very very important part you need to know those over here this is a way i am showing how a roto cap movement is checked whether a roto cap is moving or not roto caps play a very important role so i have made special video on the theory as well as uh on the overhauling of the roto cap as well so in this video i am overhauling the roto cap as you can see over here this is the roto cap i am overhauling and then after discussing the theory part over here as you can see i am discussing the theory part in on board as well practically matlab showing you all the details so i guess this will play a very very important role so in the end all i want to say if you want to know more about achievers package what all contents are available go through this playlist and you'll find it all out there and make a decision that shapes your career in the best possible way jai mata di